Hey guys, I'm Elise Wong and on this episode of Malaysian Beauties, I'm going to explain a little about the white-handed gibbon. This is um, a piece on the white-handed gibbon which I painted in acrylic on a 20 by 30 inch canvas. You can see the process, uh, I would link it up uh, and you can click on that if you're interested in watching. Okay. Truth be told, I had no idea about the white hand they give and if you ask me, the only eight I know exists in Malaysia is probably the orang utan, which is kind of a cheat because everybody knows orang utan is, can be found in Malaysia. So yeah, but uh, I found out about these uh, magnificent apes when I was going into um, the national zoo and um, I read their description, it was very brief but I just thought to uh, learn more about them as I got back and they are very interesting creatures and if you watch videos uh, of them like living up in the trees because they're arboreal means they live up in the trees wow they are such amazing acrobats they are they're so agile they are beautiful and they're like dancers you know in up in the trees it, it's just amazing to watch and it's just, I just, I'm just, you know, anyway. The Lar Gibbon, also known as the white-handed gibbon, is the primate in the gibbon family. Gibbons are small, arboreal apes, means they live up in the trees. They are distributed in the wild in the tropical and subtropical forests of Southeast Asia. They are currently found in small populations in China, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Bangladesh, Northeast India, Myanmar, Malaysia, and Indonesia. The Fur colouring of the Lara Gibbon varies from black to dark brown to light brown and sandy colours. The hands and feet are white coloured, likewise the ring of white fur surrounding the black face. Both males and females can be all colour variants and the sexes also hardly differ in size. As with all apes, the number of caudal vertebrae has reduced drastically, resulting in the loss of a functional tail. So like all apes, they basically don't have a tail. Gibbons have tough bony padding on their buttocks, known as sitting pads. The white-handed gibbon is considered frugivorous. Fr frugivorous? I'm not sure if I say that right. Basically, it means they're fruitarians. They, they eat fruits. Fruits consisting about 50% of its diet, but leaves 29% are a substantial part, with insects 13% and flowers 9%, forming the remainder. In the wild, white-handed gibbons will eat a large variety of foods, including figs and other small sweet fruits, tree fruits and berries, as well as young leaves, buds and flowers, new shoots, vines, vine shoots, and insects, including mantids and wasps, and even bird eggs. White-handed gibbons are usually active for an average of 8.7 hours per day leaving their sleeping sites around sunrise and entering sleeping trees an average of 3.4 hours before sunset. Being arboreal, they rarely come to the ground, instead using their long arms to swing through the trees. With their hooked hands, they can move swiftly with great momentum swinging from branches to branches. Gibbons are famous for their agility in the forest treetops and are excellent arm swingers. They are considered to be among the world's best acrobats. Gibbons have the longest arms relative to body size of all species of primates, enabling them to move hand over hand through the branches of the trees propelled only by their forelimbs. Although they rarely come to the ground naturally, while there, they walk bipedally, which means they walk on two legs, with arms raised above their heads for uh, balance. The mated pair sings a spectacular bird-like duet with the young occasionally joining in. Couples will usually sing in the morning to broadcast to the jungle that that is their territory. These songs are audible through very far distances, over miles, and is the primary way scientists and also unfortunately poachers locate the wild populations. This haunting melody has found its way into the folklore of the people of Southeast Asia. There is no fixed mating season. Mating occurs in every month of the year. On average, females reproduce for the first time at about 11 years of age in the wild, much later than in captivity. Gestation is 6 months long on average, and pregnancies are usually of a single young. 
young are nursed for approximately two years, and full maturity comes at about eight years. Life expectancy for these white gibbons are usually about 25 years. Gibbons are undoubtedly the most endangered of all ape species and are threatened in various ways. They are sometimes hunted for their meat. Other times, the parents are killed in order to capture the young for pets. Other illegal wildlife trade is the use of their body parts in Chinese medicines. Poaching is also another factor. But perhaps the most pervasive is the loss of habitat. The white-handed given habitats are already threatened by forest clearance for the construction of roads, agriculture, ecotourism, domesticated cattle and elephants, forest fires, subsistence logging, illegal logging, new village settlement, and one of the biggest uh, factors is palm oil plantations. So yeah, if you can, try to stay away from palm oil products because it's one of the major factors, especially in Malaysia, uh, to you know, due to habitat loss. So if you can, try to use sustainable palm oil. And if you do know more about the white-handed giving, you can comment down below and share the knowledge with us because I would definitely love to hear more. It's always a wonder to learn more about all these things. I would be very grateful for your support, especially when it comes to these uh, Malaysian Beauties project. I mean, I really hope that I am doing what I can with what I love. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. If you'd like to keep up to date with my photos and paintings, you can follow me down below in the video description. They are Facebook, Blogspot, Google+, Plus, and Art. That's all for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay cool.